Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's a float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. R uh, that's boxing. But grasping the basics is crucial to mastering swordplay, Miss March. Focus on wielding your sword properly, making your thrusts swift and strikes brisk. And parries should be fluid and nimble. Got it. See? Even March is getting bored of your rambling. Uh, uh, but I'm actually not bored at all. Miss March is still a novice, so I'm giving her some tips on the basics to help her better understand them. Neglecting the basics will only make you vulnerable in a fight. Even for an extraordinary sword master like you, Yuli. Just focus on your teaching. Why bring me into this? What? Didn't General Hoi An offer you any guidance? <laughs> Looks like your general hasn't told you to stop hopping around like a sparrow in a fight, huh? Miss March has been learning the basics of swordplay, and now it's time to put her knowledge to the test. Unsheath your swords and show me what you've got, March. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. But did I really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all.
Looks like I passed the test. <laughs> yeah. Well done. You passed with flying colors. <laughs> Great. Hey, uh, hurry up and congratulate me. Jeez, oh, you sound just like those parents on the Sien show. Can't I get some praise now? <laughs> I couldn't have done it without my masters and you, Miss Teaching Assistant. So if I were to take on that IPC guy now, what would you say are my chances? You already have a martial arts background and plenty of real combat experience. But with swordplay guidance from me and Yun Li, if you were to challenge the IPC's security... You wouldn't stand a chance. Yun Li's... And no chance? Hey, are you trying to crush my confidence? I'm the kind of girl who performs better when I'm showered with praise, just so you know. Oh, come on. You're just talking nonsense to keep me motivated. <laughs> I thought teaching March was just something of a hobby, but now... Actually seeing her progress gives me a sense of accomplishment. Oh, really? So now you finally acknowledge her talent, Master Yun Li? Don't worry, Miss March. I've been serious about teaching you from the start. Oh, don't try to cause a rift between us. <laughs> Every move and technique I taught March is straight from the Juming art of swordplay. Fifteen days of training is short, Miss March. Whether you pass or fail this test, I hope you'll continue with the basics, because that's your best shot at winning. After every test, the general would take me to the Artisanship Commission for sword maintenance. Let's go, Miss March. Today, I'll follow the general's example as a way of acknowledging your progress. Oh, thank you, Master Yen Ching. So, have you found any information? Yeah. That girl is one of the nameless on the Astral Express. Oh, she's no pushover. Don't you think this bet's a bit too risky? Yeah, it is. So what? Have you seen those big shots in the Strategic Investment Department? Do they ever make safe bets? She thinks she can fool me by flying under the radar? You there! Get me the most powerful mech we've got! Uh, understood. Checking the inventory now. Now I'm curious to see what this 15-day crash course apprentice is really capable.
go about this? What the? second test. I'll be your examiner this time, and I'll be testing your ability to defeat enemies with unconventional moves. Grandpa always said that everything can be a sword, and that there are endless possibilities for learning swordplay in this vast world. If you want to defeat your opponent, you'll need your own secret move. <laughs> Speaking of secret moves, I've prepared some flaming potent tea. Huh? Flaming potent tea from Arum Alley? You got it! I saw this immersia where the hero drank the flaming potent tea and started stumbling and shaking all over the place. But then he managed to defeat his father's murderer with his drunken sword play. Good example. Do you know how to do the drunken sword play? Uh, no. I figured I could just learn it by drinking flaming potent tea. That's not how it works in real life, Miss March. Absolutely! I've learned a lot from my adventures. I've heard you've traveled a lot, Miss March. I'm excited to see how you incorporate your experiences into your... Your opponent this time is similar to the IPC mechs. Unsheath your swords and give it... According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready! Did I really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all.
rooms were pretty. So I thought you were just wasting your. Well, well. Looks like. Uh, thank you both for your guidance. <laughs> Without a doubt. Awesome. No saving allowed. Let's keep it relevant. This time's for now. Next time's for later. No IOUs on phrase. <laughs> I won't be modest this time. My skills have improved by leaps and bounds. General Jing Yuan once told me that everyone has the potential. Actually, I was once convinced by Gui Naifin into swallowing a sword. That's definitely not something you learn from regular practice. So, what do you think you're odd? Uh, maybe around third. Hope for the best and prepare for the. Even I can say things that sound profound and mysterious. You don't really think I'm dumb, do you? Hmm. On the test, I can tell that you still need some time to master your swordplay. But you did pretty well. Oh, yeah! The progress report on the Nameless Girl's sword training is complete. What should I do now, Special Scott? Huh? Are you being sarcastic or something? I mean, don't I have other important tasks to do? It feels like a bit of a waste of time to keep tabs on some random girl's swordplay training. A waste of time? No! This is about safeguarding the reputation of the IPC and the honor of the Amber Lord. Are you saying that March 7th can actually take down an Arumaton from the Artisanship Commission with a sword? Come on. An Arumaton is no match for our state-of-the-art mechs. Go and strengthen our mechs even further. I refuse to believe that little sliver of metal can actually challenge our cut... But the armor's already pretty thick. No, it's not enough. Reinforce it more. If I lose face, it's like losing face for the IPC and the Ember Lord. Can we afford to let that happen? Understood.
about this. we start the test there's something i need he's made thorough preparations contacting the realm however according but declining would be but before that uh no way well it's not group when general jing yuan was teaching me swordplay after all the master but never... how will we ever find out if you unsheath your swords and Punish evil! Not very sportsmanlike! 
If you're talking about playing Celestial Jade, that's something I might be able to help with. Uh, wait a minute. I've been playing with you a lot lately, right? I've actually picked up a few insights. For example, I've been thinking lately that just defeating Scott with my swords might not be enough. Apologizing or squealing like a pig, I doubt he'd do it willingly. Exactly! He just wants to show off! Which is why he picked Arum Alley as the venue. You're right. Even though I'm not a fan, I'll help you figure something. Workaholic were a disease, Scott would be in the ICU. It's okay to enjoy your work, but causing trouble in society is another story. I don't have suggestions, only an opinion. And that is, he's a hopeless workaholic. Come on, March, let's go find him. Isn't our hero, Mark Seven? And who do we have here with you? Before you start the fight, I have a few words for you. Huh? Who do you think you are? Is it like a Sienjo thing to just show up uninvited? It's okay if you don't know who I am. Introduce me to him. <laughs> Don't freak him out. I 
work as the head of the Divination Commission most of the time. What's so special about being a diviner from the Divination Commission? I'm a specialist at the Interastral Peace Corporation. Tell me, what makes you think you're so great? Do you have more minions than me? Or do you earn more credits? You may not be young, but your mindset is still that of a fresh-faced newbie who spends all their time on work while proudly proclaiming to love their job. You! Shut up, you! In my opinion, you enjoy playing the role of a joker, spouting off outrageous opinions just to seem objective and indifferent whenever you feel like it. Enough! Shut up! What do you know about me? Don't act like you know everything! Wow, you really got under Scott's skin with just a few words. Well, you almost got me. I'm here to have a duel, not to debate with you. Consider the IPC to be your family. Of course I do! I, I, I have so many amazing colleagues there. Have you seen our structure? The talent motivation department makes everything feel even better than family. like the IPC is their family. You consider them your family, but do they feel the same way? Mr. Scott bosses me around as if he owns me. I own you, and that's what makes us a family, right? See, Scott? Looks like your bros have different ideas of what family means. Even the lowest ranking Pierpoint folks feel proud of the IPC's success and wealth. But when you really think about it, how much does the IPC's success and wealth have to do with you? Of course it has something to do with me. Then tell me, which of the IPC's achievements can you personally take credit for? was involved in the Alrum Alley investment project. And right now, I'm in charge of these transport ships. They may not seem like big things, but uh, they can't be done without me. Let's move on. This topic's getting boring. fall asleep without scrolling through your phone? Do you hit the snooze button every morning? Do you feel useless at work hearing your bosses complaining about your incompetence? Enough! Stop it! When you actually think about your life outside of work, only one word pops into your head, doesn't it? on my work philosophy. I don't want to say you're not important. In fact, I 
would say you are important. As an employee, you should take pride in living a good life for yourself, not just work. But I... I don't have a life of my own. What has the cursed IPC done? They've turned a living, breathing human into a heartless machine. Scott, take my advice and leave the IPC. But I don't have a choice. have a choice. You consider yourself superior to others. You have no time for your own life. You lack empathy. You're always worried about being looked down upon. And your self-esteem stems from the status the IPC gives you. Do you really want to live like this forever? <laughs> That's so mean! Just an ordinary person struggling, trying to survive. Don't you feel a twinge of guilt saying nasty stuff like that? Of course I do. Because I'm just an ordinary person, too. Now, Scott, welcome back to the world of ordinary people. Meng Ming, the owner of the Sleepless Earl, went to great efforts to set up her shop, all so that workers like us can catch a break and find some joy in our lives. What makes you so different from her? How would you feel if you worked so hard to create something, only to have your boss wreck it and overwhelm you with unreasonable demands? We were intending to defeat you in a duel and make you apologize to her. But now we see that won't work. I see. I'll make a genuine, heartfelt apology to her. Enough. I understand. We don't need to carry on with this sword fight. I'm going to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. And to everyone fully living their lives. Thank you, guys. I almost went too far, which would have been a mistake. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be happy. I'll have some tea, read the paper, explore the universe. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to apologize to the owner. Thanks. You've given me a lot to think about. As for this lousy job at the IPC, well, it's... Uh, it's time for some serious contemplation. Catch you later. <sighs> I'm so tired. Haven't felt this exhausted in ages. You guys better treat me to something nice, March. Of course. Thank you, Master Chingchua. <laughs> <laughs> 